Hi dear friends! Welcome to the Film Journal channel and the news category. Today's issue. Alexandria Film Festival announced 2020 winners. The Best of Fest award was given to 9 to 5 by Julie Record and Stephen Bugner. Joy Cantwell Award for Excellence in Documentary Filmmaking went to Trust Me. Rocco Billick, Joe Phelps and Michael Falavalida. And now about everything in order. Celebrating 14 years of independent film from around the world, the Alexandria Film Festival offers an enriching cinematic opportunity for filmmakers and film lovers alike by bringing high quality, diverse and thought-provoking films to Alexandria and Greater Washington, D.C. metro area. The 14th anniversary of the Alexandria Film Festival took place November 12-15, 2020. Year after year, the festival attracts exceptional independent short and feature-length films, while also holding filmmaker Q&S and staging other arts-related presentations. Alexandria and the surrounding region are home to an educated audience of film enthusiasts. Yesterday afternoon, the Alexandria Film Festival announced the winners. Anchoring the festival's opening night and its 19th Amendment Centennial Celebration Showcase of Films is 9 to 5. The story of a movement by Oscar winner filmmakers Julie Rackhardt and Steve Bagner. The documentary follows a group of office workers in the 1970s that organize a national movement for gender equality in the workplace. The movement inspired the 1980 Hollywood film 9 to 5, starring Jay Fonda, Dolly Parton and Lily Tamlin. Opening night also brought the DC premiere of Trust Me, director by Oscar-nominated Rocco Billick. The film takes audiences to the front lines of the worldwide informational battle, creating an avalanche of negative news and misinformation and creating a gap between how we perceive the world and reality. How do we know what and who we can trust? We are thrilled to be able to bring 9 to 5, the story of a movement and the premiere of Trust Me to the greater Washington DC metro area, said Margaret Waller, chair of the festival. Not only can audiences view an amazing slate of films, many of them by artists in our region, by wear bundling leaf and pre-recorded Q&A sessions with filmmakers in order to deliver a memory festival experience. Another standout feature of this year's festival – women direct nearly half the films. As our nation celebrates the 19th Amendment, guaranteeing women's rights to what we are honoring this milestone of equality by featuring a number of films by women and about women, added Weller. One goal of the festival is to give underrepresented voice in the film world the opportunity to be heard. Several other films were also awarded in the following categories. Audience Award, The Legacy Sessions, David Ashton and Silas Brigham, Special Jury Prize, Anna Krupt, Raoul Kohler and Emiliano Set, Best Foreign Larger Film, Snowland, Johnny Kickeltz, Original Award, Beat the Machine, Shining Washington, Outstanding Performance Award, Saving Robin Williams, Lawrence Whitener and Roger Cabeler. Thanks to watching today's show. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and it will be the best gift for us. Good luck! Hi everyone and thank you for joining us for the Alexandria Film Festival 2020's awards presentation. My name is Margaret Bowler and I'm the chair of the Alexandria Film Festival. We've been so pleased to welcome independent film fans from all over the world on our all virtual festival this year. We'd like to thank our host platform Eventive 
It's been a great ten days of film screening fun, and it's not over yet. We still have four more days to watch all the movies that are on your list, including these award winners. So you have until November 26th. We'd also like to thank our partners at the Alexandria Symphony Orchestra, headed by James Ross, Maestro James Ross. Um, first of all, for the beautiful music that you just enjoyed, but also for their creative pairing of American music with our AFF filmmakers for a project that we call Homegrown. You can continue to see the Homegrown films here at the AFF 2020, and then look forward to them being screened live next year with the full Alexandria Symphony Orchestra as part of their 2021 concert season. So we hope you can join us. Uh, we also would like to thank our community business sponsors for their constant and generous support of the Alexandria Film Festival, Sunrise Senior Living in Old Town, the Burke and Herbert Bank, Connection Newspapers, Visit Alexandria, Alexandria Living, the Alexandria Commission for the Arts, Alexandria Hyundai, and Jim Connolly Realtors. Thank you. I would also like to thank and introduce our executive committee for the Alexandria Film Festival 2020. Patty North is our executive director. Dara Sanders is the AFF Vice Chair and Programming Director. Elisa Morsch is our Graphic Designer. Jillian Ray is our Communications Chair. Ann Merrill and Liz Martinez are our PR and Social Media Specialists. And Debbie Funk is our Sponsorship Chair. We are an all-volunteer 501c3 arts charity based here in Alexandria, Virginia, and we so appreciate the hard work of our team. So thank you all. We are very pleased to award seven prizes to our deserving AFF 2020 filmmakers. The categories are Best of Fest, the Joe Cantwell Award for Excellence in Documentary Filmmaking, the Special Jury Prize, Best Regional Film, Best Foreign Language Film, Outstanding Performance Award, and the Audience Award. First of all, thank you. We are really honored. It's great. It it's, so much. it's a great honor to, to get this award, especially with, I could see there were so many great films this year at the, at the Alexandria Festival. Um, and we, we wanted, to, nine to five, you know, we wanted to make a film that was both a kind of call to action and also an entertaining film. And also that continued to tell the story of like the enduring struggle of women for equality at the workplace. Uh, and this, this one, I don't know if people know my earlier work or our earlier work, but it really kind of ties in with, from the beginning, you know, growing up female union maids, uh, the last truck, American fact, you know, it ties in with my concerns about gender and class um, and workplace issues. And we've had I mean, when I think back on all that, I, when I think about all the great people we've met, but also all the great people we've worked with and collaborated with on these films, and you were gonna- Well, this film is a true collaboration. It took years to make. This, uh, this film we started uh, like eight, nine years ago, and uh, the team that made it together, we worked so closely together, literally, literally for years. Our editor, Jamie Meyer Schlenk, came on board in 2015 or so and uh, worked tirelessly to, to, to put the film together. We're really grateful to her, to our graphic animator, Paula Kinsel, who really brought the film, gave it so much life and energy. Our beautiful composer, Wendy Blackstone, who, who did a wholly original score, a really major score. Uh, Jane Tucker, our archival producer, who, who found amazing footage that no one had seen in years. Our uh, line producer, Melissa Godoy. Our associate producer, Liz young -Lo. Our post-production coordinator, Ben Every. So many people made this film a reality, and we're just very, very grateful to them and to you, to the Fest, for, for supporting this film and choosing it. Uh, thanks, Jill. I'm um, so grateful that you guys could join us and say a few remarks. Um, just to wrap up, just remember we've gone virtual this year, and we are going to be offering films throughout the year and into 2021. Um, next year will be our 15th anniversary. Um, stay tuned to our social media and website for more details on the amazing things we have in store for you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.
Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was great. Thank you so much.